listen everybody to the words I have to say Better get ready Because the Lord is coming one day Thank you for tuning in to the Prophet Daniel's Report. This is Daniel White IV, the eldest son of Daniel White III. The intro music that you just heard is my late grandfather, Daniel White Jr., singing a song titled Get Ready. Today, my father, Daniel White III, is going to share with you news and information relating to biblical prophecy so that you can be prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Daniel White III is the national best-selling author of over 20 books, including Just Jesus and The Prayer Motivator. He has spoken in meetings across the United States and in 23 foreign countries, and is the president of Gospelite Society and Torch Ministries International. Now, here's your host, Daniel White III. Welcome to another Prophet Daniel's Report. This is report number 163. My name is Daniel White III, here to remind you that Jesus Christ is coming back soon, and that you need to be prepared. This broadcast is not about predictions. However, it is all about preparation. First, today, let's look at some signs of his coming in the news. The disciples asked Jesus Christ in Matthew 24, 3, What shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Jesus Christ then went on to give them and us clear signs that show us when we can begin to expect to see the coming of the Lord and the end of the world. Looking at world events through the lens of the Word of God, let's look at some headlines from today's news that point to the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. First up today, Israeli President says Israel can't go it alone on Iran. According to Reuters, Israeli President Shimon Peres came out against any go it alone Israeli attack on Iran, saying that he trusted U.S. President Barack Obama's pledge to prevent Tehran from producing nuclear weapons. His comments appeared to challenge Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Defense Minister Ehud Barak, who have both raised the prospect of a unilateral Israeli strike. Despite assurances from Washington, it will not let Iran get the atomic bomb. Second, today, Iran confirms that it has given weapons of mass destruction to terrorists. According to the Washington Times, an alarming commentary last week in the media outlet of Iran's Revolutionary Guards confirmed that the Islamic regime not only has weapons of mass destruction, but it has armed its terrorist proxies with them. Iran warned that Israel will be obliterated by chemical, uh, microbial, and nuclear bombs, but those weapons of mass destruction will be used first on Tel Aviv by Hezbollah and Islamic Jihad at the start of a decades-old Muslim dream of destroying the Jewish state. Third, today, Christians are under increasing attack in Sri Lanka. According to the Barnabas Fund, vicious attacks targeting church leaders and the harassment of other Christian workers and church members are increasing the pressure on the vulnerable Christian community in Sri Lanka. Last week, a senior pastor and his wife were beat up by a mob of about 40 men who threatened to kill them if they did not stop spreading the gospel. Another church member was ordered to leave her home 
within three days. Appeals to law enforcement were not answered. The Bible says in Matthew 10, 17, and 18, But be aware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues, and ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Ladies and gentlemen, you can read these stories in more detail and get more Second Coming related news on our website at secondcomingherald.com. Now it's time for Prophecy Boot Camp. Prophecy Boot Camp is where we deal with the basics of prophecy, the Second Coming of Christ, and what will happen in the future according to the Bible. Our aim here is not to make predictions, but to uh, help you get prepared by understanding how things will unfold in the end times. Uh, our topic for today is titled, The Times of the Nations, Part 2, from Dr. John MacArthur's book, The Second Coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Up until the time of the captivity, Jerusalem had been supreme because the throne and the glory of Jehovah was there. Assyria, Egypt, and Babylon had tried repeatedly to overthrow Jerusalem, but it was always secure by the power of God. Until God said in Ezekiel 21:24. Because ye have made your iniquity to be remembered, in that your transgressions are discovered, so that in all your doings your sins do appear, because I say that ye are come to remembrance. Ye shall be taken with the hand, when the measure of the wickedness of Jerusalem was full, God sent Nebuchadnezzar to conquer the city, and begin the times of the nations. Now in closing today, let's consider what God wants you and I to do in light of his second coming. Jesus Christ said in Luke 19.13 to occupy till I come. God wants us to be faithful witnesses for him in the last days. We should be engaged in spreading the gospel to those around us in light of that, please listen to the following from William Fay, author of Share Jesus Without Fear. Today's topic is titled, What to Do When Someone Receives Christ. The moment someone I am sharing with receives Christ, I try to affirm and confirm what j has just happened. I do this because when someone can testify unashamedly about the gospel, uh, she's taken the first step in her new faith walk. For as scripture says in 1 Corinthians 12, 3, no man can say that Jesus is the Lord but by the Holy Ghost. Right after a person makes the decision to trust Christ, you should ask them a series of questions to confirm that they understand the decision they just made. Those questions are... How many sins, rather, has Christ paid for? Number two, how many of your sins does Christ remember? Number three, where does Christ live? Number four, let's pray. Number five, may I take you to church? Lord willing, we will look closer at each of these questions in our upcoming broadcasts, if the Lord should tarry his coming and we live. Let's pray. Holy Father God, we praise you and we thank you for your loving grace. We thank you for reminding us once again that you're coming back. Forgive us of our sins. Wash and cleanse us from all unrighteousness in the blood of Christ. And make us fit for your use. Fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit. To be the shining lights and witnesses you want us to be in these last days. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Now, dear friend, if you are listening to this broadcast and you do not know Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, 
God wants you to receive Jesus Christ before he returns. So please understand with me that you are a sinner and that you have broken God's laws. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Please also understand that because of your sins, you deserve eternal punishment in a place called hell. That's right, I said hell. Romans 6.23 says the wages of sin is death. This is both physical death in the grave and spiritual death in hell. Now that is truly bad news. But the gospel is good news and I have some good news for you. John 3.16 reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This verse is telling us that despite our sinfulness, our wickedness, God loved us so much that he sent his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who took away the sin of the world to suffer and die on the cross for your sins and mine. After he died on the cross, he was buried and rose again. Now all you have to do is believe in him, trust in him, and have faith in him for your salvation. He will save your soul. If you do so, you will not suffer eternal punishment in hell. Rather, you will have everlasting life with God in heaven. The Bible also says in Romans 10, 9 and 13, that if thou, you, shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Saved from what? Saved from hell. Now, dear friend, if you are willing to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation today, please pray with me this simple prayer and mean it from your heart. Heavenly Father, Holy Father, I realize that I am a sinner and that I have done some bad things in my life. For Jesus Christ's sake, please forgive me of all of my sins. I now believe with all of my heart that Jesus Christ died for me, was buried, and rose again. Lord Jesus, please come into my heart and save my soul and change my life today and forever. Amen. <clears throat> Dear friend, if you trusted Jesus Christ as your Savior today in your heart, and you meant that prayer from your heart, I am here to declare to you that based upon the word of God, you are now saved and on your way to heaven and you cannot go to hell. May I welcome you to the family of God and congratulate you on doing the most important thing in life, and that is trusting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Now for more information to help you grow in your newfound faith in Christ, Go to GospelLightSociety.com and read what to do after you enter through the door. Remember the words of the Lord Jesus Christ also in Matthew 24:42. Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord doeth come. Matthew 24:44 says, Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Keep looking up, for your redemption draweth nigh. Let us join in the prayer of John the Revelator when he prayed, Even so come, Lord Jesus. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in to the Prophet Daniel's Report. Remember, you can stay up to date with prophecy news and events on our website at secondcomingherald.com. If you would like to know more about accepting Jesus Christ as your Savior, what to do after salvation, or looking for a good church home, please visit gospelitesociety.com for more information. This radio broadcast can be heard daily on Live 365, bcnnradio7.com, gospelightworldradio.com, Buzzsprout, iTunes, Blog Talk Radio, and can be downloaded from numerous outlets online. God bless, and until next time, keep looking up for your redemption draw if not. Now, here's a song that will encourage you as you await Christ's return. You got to get your 
straight. 